Alright, so we've got a... Wait, I think it is. I'm not oh. sure. Okay. Well, we've got a TVP, uh, Meth Lab's bottom right hand corner in the blue, and uh, Devo is a bit, um, a bit devastated at the current state of affairs. Um, Prodox is, affairs. Prodox is just not doing so good at the moment. Right, he he's devastated that GTA hasn't been out on PC yet. Oh, he's not the only one. Yeah, well. Uh, there's a bit of a, a bit of spamage by our meth lab here. Um, you know, apparent, um, you can only do that if you have if you have a certain level of skill. Uh, Clearly. And we can see Devo doing the same thing. Uh, in well, he's even he's, faster than me. He's having a disco actually. Nope, no, it's not. Uh, the probe, ah, the probe's back to having that disco. We can just see him moving to the center of the map. He's just having a great time. It's a bit angry though. It looks like he's got a bit of a, um, he's a bit cross in the face. Poor thing. Just what do you mean? All right, so we've got a gateway. Do you think this will be a gateway expand? Um, I don't know. I'm more interested in this probe. The life of this probe is going to probably hassle. No, no, he's very undecisive. Uh, refinery going up. Always good to see. Probes happy that happy that he saw that, and he's now going to not attack. Oh, there we go. Oh. I assume that Terran is going to Reaper, or it could be an early factory. But I'm gonna say it's a Reaper. Mm. It I don't actually remember how this game went, so I just oh, think I lost there. It's a really interesting probe. And yeah, dude, yeah. What the hell? It's, you don't say the outcome. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually remember this game, okay? You're terrible at this game. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty bad. Just not install. Yeah, I know. I really should. What am I doing? What is this? I don't know. What are you doing? I don't know. Wow, I wasn't going to Reaper. Wow, I don't remember this game at all. Tech lab, so you're going for STEM. Oh, bunk. Wait, what? What? You've got a bunker at the front. Interesting play. Um, so I guess he won't be able to expand with his stalker. Well, if he's going for a. It doesn't look like he's going for a gateway expand. How will he be out by now? Mm, and he's good as a double gas, so that means he's not trying to save off the gas. Yeah, he must be going... Hmm, I don't know. Maybe... Oh, he's trying to get up. No, he sees, the, he sees the tech lab on the rack, so... Yeah, he sees something researching, so he could think it's stim. But that's a really early stim. He must be thinking something strange is happening here. Ah, uh, um, see, now, he's, yeah. now he sees the bunkers. So right now can, you'll be wanting this, to get. Can this model get there in time? That is Looks the question. It's gonna be likely. Yeah, yeah, just in time. He really should have been targeting the SCV, building that. That's a that's a really good move, actually. Pretty impressed with that move. Uh, Robo facility up. Robo for the mortals. They're good at tearing down monkeys. Something good at tanking, but tanking for them. Um, and probably going to move to, to the uh, Colossi move. Yeah, uh, I, it I does. I would like to see. Um, I would like to see Meth Lab doing a bit of pressure. Um, actually, it looks like he does no anti-air at all. So. Um, that oh, oh, oh! Taking a bit of damage. Oh, losing that stalker. That's a bit sloppy. Um, finally, saying that yes, there is absolutely no anti-air at all. Um. Not sure how I feel about this play. Well, it has delayed his expansion by a lot. Well, now he's gonna get it done. That's a very late expansion. If his goal was to gateway expand, this is kind of screwed uh, it up. I'm not, not entirely sure he was in the gateway expanding with having those um, three gateways up before he even attempted to walk down the ramp. Um, but uh, it could have just been for safety. Um, not sure how I feel about it, but uh, anyway, we see the immortal coming in and the forge. So we're going to look at some upgrades. Um, that's, all, that's a good number of centuries. As long as it keeps them alive. Uh, we've got 
that stem coming down? Or going up? Or? That's not a mortal, that's a observer coming out. Alright. Well, there was. There was, there, there was a mortal. mortal, yeah, there was a mortal Come as well. On, but we do have upgrades coming. Now, what, now if we look at the pro count, we can see that uh, Toss is was supply gap for a little bit. Um, but we've also got 27 to 31, or 27 probes to 31 SEVs, 32 SEVs, which is never a good position for a Terran to be. Um, sorry, Protoss to be, close enough. <laughs> yeah, he's. A, I think the that little bunker harassment slowed him down a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm very curious as to what his plan is going to be now. He's got all these units, but... Plus one, I we've got the uh, Robo not doing anything. Uh, there's the robotics there. So it's going to look like we're going to be seeing some Colossi, some quite early Colossi, mind you. That is fairly early. He doesn't even have um, a proper saturation in his no, uh, he's natural got, yet. He's got a very average saturation. Um, I feel like Fredor should risk it and just get a third, very early third, mm. to come back. Otherwise it's just going to be that little bit too behind. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it is going to be Colossus, as we can see, Robo Bay is happening. So And plus one too. It's quite this might be there. some sort of timing, do you reckon? I don't know what he's going for. He's got Twilight now. I'm quite sure what timing that would be for. Um, it seems Maybe like whatever get timing he, he could have had. Is he or something? Is he going to research ex uh, them? Oh, he is. Them alerts coming down. Um, and very interesting. Terran not quite seeing what's being made. It's a bit in the dark at the moment. Yeah, he just misses out. We've got... 43 probes to 50 SEVs. The god seems to be a hidden pylon just down to the left. Oh, what do you think that's for? Maybe just a spot for drops, maybe? Mm, I have a feeling we're going to be some, seeing some DTs in the very short future. Keep the production tab up, see, uh, just in case, we'll have a look at what's coming up. Scouting probe here, looking for the third. You're not going to find one. Now this, oh, this could be a very good timing for the toss because his first um, his first colossus is coming out just after the scout. Yeah, uh, this is uh, Taran just has no idea that there's a colossus coming out. Oh, and the stalker's waiting for him too. Yeah, that was a good defense. Good. How did he know it was coming? Mm -hmm. Maybe it was just there, just in case. Yeah, you never know. Mm, that was pretty good. Pretty good star sense. When is Taran gonna get his third? So oh, we, still still little, we still don't have a lot of units by uh by Tops. Uh, his rope count is uh, it's not it's still it's still pretty average compared to the uh compared to Toss. Uh, and we see and yet another proxy pilot. So I uh, uh, we could see some proxy zealots, we could see, um, what else can we see, we could see some proxy immortals if he decided to build some robos there. Uh, well, I think it'll be proxy zealots. Proxy zealots is very good, um, especially when you're having a battle and you got to multitask. you got to multitask, you just bought some zealots in, run it into the mineral line and all havoc breaks loose. Mm. And uh, if you're trying to micro a few things at once, it's very hard to keep on track with everything. Yeah, it can get very hectic very quickly. Yeah, and if you're not looking even for a little bit, you can just lose so many SCVs. Uh, I think he's going to set up to get a stead now, Kratos is. Yep, does look like that. Oh, is he going to get... yes, the Widow Mine. Going to kill the pre Not doing any damage to itself either, it's a very good move. And a bit yeah, of so delaying that just a little bit longer. That's bit of micro great. there taking that probe out, and we've got a pile on here that's just uh, just trying to be a bit sneaky, just tr trying not to not to get seen. 
And we also have this, the very sneaky medevac that's just deciding to make sure that no one can see anywhere past here. Just, just doing a bit of a scout. So that's very impressive work. And there goes another stalker. A bit of a blue, blue goo. That was okay. That that would have mind paid for itself. I mean, yeah. delayed, yeah. delayed everything. A stalker. Yeah, yeah, it's not too bad. But the real problem here is that there is three colossi, nearly four now, and there's only what seven Vikings. And this storm is researching. It's got high Templar. I can use it for feedbacks. I feel like Protoss would be able to hold this. Mm. If if there's a if you can get the uh, well that said there are not too many there are not too many stalkers in this mix he hasn't catered for those uh, for those col um, Vikings so if um, Terran has a very good a good engagement he could be uh, he could be in really good shape uh, but we do see some high Templar and that could spell trouble for this bio force yeah. storm storm just eats everything up. Mm. It's not even. And even these I mean, it's So hard to uh, dodge those storms. Mm. Um, yeah, as you can see, Terran is a little bit scared of those Colossi. getting two more starports. Doesn't want to muck around with these things. Mm. He does have his third up way before. The, um, way before the. Yeah. Yeah. Um, definitely. And he's. You can see that he's way ahead in, in terms of the uh, income. Look at that, 27,000. Oh, sorry, 202,000. Shut up, Ben. <laughs> yeah, 2,700 to 1,500. That's a lot more. And that still, we there. see that there's that Toss just does not have very much anti air. He's got still his seven stalkers and. He does have he does have a lot of high Templar, but if the uh, Terran outranges him, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a problem. It's going to be quite hard to hold him off. Yeah, uh, the storm is done, and this this is very good for Protoss. As if he gets a few good storms, or just the tides of the whole game just changes completely. Hmm. Uh, we've got a couple of zealots coming in from the side, uh, which are going to be c completely intercepted by these. No. No, just walking straight past. Ah, there we go. Terran spotted them. Going to I wonder what these elves are for. I think he was just checking for if there was a base he could harass it, but there wasn't a base at that time. Probably should have scouted it first. He does have a uh, he does have an observer that's not doing anything at the moment, which uh, certainly could have certainly could have taken him out. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's fairly scouted. I think the observer was done a great job at taking him out, but... Well, Taran is maxed out and Pronos is at 170. So, um... There is a window... For Taran to attack you. Um... He needs to be very careful though. These storms just... Can change the entire game. I feel like... Taran should have got ghosts at... Um... He's that got a ghost. He's got, he's got a ghost canopy, but he's maxed out, so he can't actually make any. That's uh, a bit oh. unfortunate. Mind going there. for the snipe, going for the next snipe, actually yeah, taking it out. That went beautifully. Well, he's just got to get out of there. Um, that's a very bad checkpoint to be stuck in. That's true. Oh, he's oh off. yeah, this may have been a bit ambitious. This is a bad checkpoint to be in. This one or two storms can actually. Ooh. Storms the Vikings. That's a think. very good engagement. No oh, that, that was a very good story. Those Vikings need to get out of there. Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah, that was such a good storm. And those feedback too, that is his entire yeah. completely decimated. Yeah, this is... Hmm, I'm not sure. I think it was a little bit... It was bad for Terra to lose that entire army, but... At the same time, Kratos lost, it. lost his third, and that was pretty important. But... He doesn't have an army. Yeah. Terran just doesn't, he doesn't have an army. He needs to have ghosts, um, doing a bit of harassment with the Vikings. Usually, landed Vikings are very bad, so... And, looks like, uh, no, he's doing, doing quite well, he's 
considering that um, Kratos does not have any uh, colossal action, he's done a good job at harassing. Yeah, he might as well use it for something, right? And he's what? and he's halted the Protoss' production completely. There's pr uh, absolutely no income in terms of minerals, which is... It's quite smart though, um, Protoss seeing that he's starting his colossi production again, which is good, like very smart. He saw that the Vikings, like most of them died. So he's not gonna Terran's not gonna have anything for these Colossi. Yeah, you know, this, this is the last Viking. Uh he he knows that. He knows that there's no Vikings left. And he's just gonna switch back to Colossi and it's gonna be really good. And we Especially have, when yep. yeah. We've Especially got when we've got Vikings like so many ghosts. Yeah. We've got so many ghosts, they're not really gonna do yeah. like very well against Colossi, right? Mm, so definitely not. And yeah. Um, he certainly could be doing. He certainly could do a lot of damage with ghosts in terms of taking down the dude with the Colossi, but it's going to be a lot of wasted energy. Mm. Uh, he is actually still making. He's making archons. And those that's uh, those ghosts are going to be very good against those archons. Going to reduce them very quickly. He actually has a lot of storms. A lot of storms. Yeah. Um, look at all those Colossi uh, Templar. It would have been yeah. Uh, That's going to be very hard to deal with. It's if um if Terran decided to just do a hard hard change into Mac, there's nothing Toss could have done anything about done about this. Um, that said, a uh, um, uh, really quick swap into into Mac bio is not something you'd yeah, be well, expecting Mac, to do. Yeah, Mac takes a while to set up. It's just especially considering all these barracks in here. There's not a whole lot. Like Not very viable. Like does he have an observer with him? Uh, he doesn't. Yeah, he does Few, few EMPs going down. Defensive storm. And there we go. The observer's now with his with the army. Yeah. Uh, this is. This could be bad. Um, There's a lot of SCVs. Yeah. It's not very. He's losing this. He's gonna lose a lot of SCVs at the very least. This is very tense. Um, These ghosts are just are not doing much at all. Yeah. A couple of snipes going down, but not enough. This is too many. Oh. That's a Terran, Terran. That was a very bad. That was not a good engagement for Terran. I mean, he's going to lose these Colossi, but. Well, no, he's even got a little Colossi left. Yeah, this is this is this put Protoss back in the game. Um, Terran is only on three base now, only mining from two. He's gonna lose this command center. The game just suddenly went into Protoss' favor. Um, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say it's part, it's in Protoss' favor just because um, in terms of army size, maybe. Um, however, they. Two mining bases. Oh, sorry. There is probably only one mining base, and yeah, probe, probe count is is very low for Terran actually. Um, that's a very good point. Mm. Uh, you can see that there's going to be a drop for uh, drop for Terran uh, sometime in the near future. No. Okay. These arts are moving out. Not sure where to. And this um, 23 kill executor Colossus is standing guard over. Wow, the that's fort. so much. He's still making uh, Colossi, and there's just not enough Vikings to deal with this. There's only three Vikings out. I mean, Terran's bad. He's not really mining very much. He's he's basically mining one base. Um, I don't think he can support so many Vikings. Vikings are pretty expensive. Oh, a drop in the main. Not sure how much this is going to do. Once we the forge, he should probably get out of there. Yeah. Uh, that blink might. He might blink in. Oh, that was close. I mean. That's actually a very good move. It's forced down. Oh no. That's a lot of production by the Protoss. Yeah, this is. This is well, Terran just has to do like anything he can to try and get by some time. Like. Yeah, he is very oh, oh no, oh no. Oh. 
I was very lucky he didn't get the full medevac. Mm. Uh, but uh. the medevacs is in low supply. Like, you can't afford to make Vikings and medevacs. It's just too much. That's just not mighty enough for it to be viable. That's true. And oh, we've got the army moving out. It's going to be an encounter. There's going to be a lot of SCV. Oh, no, you cannot lose this base. Those this is only mining base. His only mining base, he cannot lose it. And he really needs to get up in there to save those SEVs. That's yeah, cool. I don't he's think, I don't think he's going to get it. Ah, oh, that was very painful. Oh, he's got to watch out for the storm. He's got to watch out for the storm. Oh. Yeah, it's a bit painful. Now, we do still have a, uh, there we go. We do have a command center up top that is going to move up top. It's a bold move. It is bold. But uh, maybe it's the one place that he's not going to check. That's a, good, that's a very good point. Until uh, he actually wants to take his expansion <laughs> there. And until there. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, what do we have? Well, Protoss has really only mining for one base as well. But their incomes are... He, he's got the second... He's got the second expansion. However, he's... There we go. We've got the uh, units coming in now. Uh, Terran is very low on SCVs, 37 SCVs to 56 probes. Yeah, had he have kept, oh, if he was able to keep that second command center, he would have had a lot more mewling production. Mm. However, he just doesn't have the funds. Oh, he oh, losing his oh I think Protoss saw, Protoss saw that base, didn't he, with the Zealots. Yep, the Zealots just kind of got yep, him. Yep, he's seen it, he's seen it. He's going to go straight there. And if you, this is basically the lifeline of Terran, you can't lose this. Oh, he's, he's seen it, but I don't know why he's not... I don't know what he's doing. He's got a couple of high templar pushing out. Another command center being built. Oh, oh, we're going to go watch out here. This is a bad trick. Oh, yeah, this is not great. Those ghosts can be a bit late to party. Yeah, that's. I think that was the problem. I guess, uh... The Colossal Gamma. And he doesn't have any detection. These ghosts... 26 damage for the first one. Yeah, these... He does not have detection. He's not even building a robo or anything, but... I don't know, these ghosts are going to run out of energy soon. 7 health profit on that. On that, uh, what do you call it? Archon. That could have been, that could have been quite a good pick. Uh, uh, run by here, this is going to be painful. He's going to lose a lot of SCVs. Yeah, he just can't afford this. 29 yeah. SCVs. Oh, maybe our Protoss has a thousand minerals banked up. He's... Mm. He's Protoss just does not have a very good, um, does not have a very good macro going. He could... He might be able to afford some. No, he won't be able to afford. He just needs to stay on top of his macro and make sure that he doesn't let things die. Yeah. Well, that being said, we will capture the zealots, which is you know, anything at this point in time. Would, would, anything's nice. Maybe it's not more. It's a very strong choice. They are been such a good old way so well. Oh, he kind of trapped himself here. Yeah, he went the wrong way. Oh wow, that storm there. That storm is very good, that storm there. So he's got so many storms, he could just be doing this all day. Trade energy for minerals. That's seeing as Terran is very well. Yeah, uh, Terran's got no basis. He's mining from one, kind of. Kind of mining from one, kind so of, it's, yeah. it's not efficient at all. Well, he's transferring some SUVs now, but I don't know how it's. That's a bit of Protoss. desperation, he just doesn't have the units for that. Yeah, I mean, what well, is his income coming? His income at the moment is 680. He is, he is performing a drop. Uh, because of the cannon. That was a big drop. Uh, those feedbacks were very good. How much can he kill? He's That's actually doing a decent job. Yeah. Um, and it's not. Oh, he's, yeah. You should probably get out of there soon, but... Oh, I guess the... He's got oh, the he's got... Oh, that's costly. 
it's painful, but quite a few was killed there. Now they're both uh, both teams are only on one base. This is I feel like Protoss has an edge here. He he's he got a lot of storms. He definitely has he definitely has the production count. Yeah, he has a he has a lot of storms. He's got a base mining. No, oh, he lost that mine unfortunately. Yeah, well he's oh. going for the attack and I and oops, there I we can't. go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I think Taran is. This is going to be. A, this is going to be it. Um, there's just not enough ghosts. There's only one ghost. Uh, there's a lot of storms. A lot of storms. They're kind of engaging with that. Oh, there you go. Storm. This is going to be it. I think this is too much. Too much damage. There's the walls. Just take it straight and hold the fire. Yeah, these models are doing very well. And there That's we go. It. Well, Terran had this game. He certainly had the uh, probably in the first half of the game. He was he was set. Uh, however, he just couldn't quite close the coffin. A few bad engagements, and uh, he just swung in the Protoss's direction. Yeah, you uh, can't shame. figure out those storms, man. Yeah, uh, well, uh, well, that's that game. Ciao.